Hey there guys, my name's Ed and we are back in Luna, the brand new software from Universal Audio and today we're going to talk about their Shape Sampler, which I'm really enjoying so far and then we're going to talk through a couple of really cool features in this. I've got a session open here in Luna and we're going to add a track by pressing the plus sign on tracks. If you're wondering how to pull this up, we need to go to the view icon in the corner here and tracks is where we can add tracks. So. Besides uh, pressing Shift Command N, we could do it that way, or press the plus sign, select an instrument track. Let's call this uh, piano and instruments. We're going to use Shape. So here's the Shape sampler, and the first thing you'll notice is there are four channels in our mixer window here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one, and you'll notice as well part one, part two, part three, and four along the top. We're going to get to that. So to load an instrument, pretty easy. I'm going to find a keyboard, a Revel LT sound. Sounds like a piano. And if we go back, and if we click on the icon that comes up in the instrument window here. So we have a variety of options here. And we have level, pretty obvious. Solo, pretty useful. Compressor, that's either on or off. There's no functionality with that yet. Panning left or right, there's no indication of how far we're panning things or whether I have in fact reset that to zero or not, which is a bit of a shame. Modulation, but I'm not going to get into that. And we have this uh, keyboard dial here where we can select a range on our keyboard. More on that in a minute because that's going to be really useful in a second. So, so far we've got one instrument plugged in on our channel when we have our piano. On the second window here, what we can do is we can add in another instrument. So I'm going to go ahead and find a bass. I'm going to find a warm bass sound here. Now the first thing you'll notice is it's playing the piano and the bass at the same time. Now I don't necessarily want the bass up in this higher register. It doesn't belong there. Uh, it's a low instrument. So let's get rid of that. And how we can do that in our mixer here is use this dial and take it all the way down. So I'm going to take it down to C3. And anything above C3 is not going to trigger the bass. And I can dial in the volume here with it, so no bass. I like it about that, and we can pan it if necessary. But we want the bass in the center, so we're going to leave that here. So, if I start playing something... We get bass, but just in my left hand, so there's a nice complimentary bass guitar sound to go with my left hand bass parts on the piano. Now, what I want to do is thicken out the sounds with my right hand. So we're going to go to channel 3, and I'm going to find a pad. Let's use an ambient wash sound. How does that sound? Okay, cool. That'll work. Let's go back into the mixer because that's A sounded quite loud. I just want that sitting nicely in the background there. And same again, if we click on this arrow, I'm going to select the range from this. So at the moment, it's going to come up with the bass notes. Which actually sounds quite cool, but... For the sake of this, I am going to bring that up to one note above C3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan this to one side. Just a little bit. I don't want to go full left because that pulls my ear too far. But just a little bit to give it some space because what we're going to do next is... We're going to go to channel 4. And we are going to find some strings... Let's go with String Ensemble Long. And as before, we get the strings across the entire keyboard spectrum, but I don't want that. I don't want that coming up in the, um, in the low end. So I'm going to bring that up to, to C4 there. And conversely to the ambient wash pad sound, I'm going to pan this a little bit to the right. <laughs> So 
they're a little bit loud compared to the pads. Let's bring them down. All right, let's go through a uh, classic chord progression and we can see how it sounds. Listen out for the panning with the uh, pads and the strings there as well. So this is a really great way of layering sounds and textures into your MIDI just to make it more musical as you're writing or programming. Which brings me to my next question. Does this bounce to MIDI with the panning, with the instruments and with the samples? Let's give that a go. And we are on piano. Let's arm the piano. Press record. Press spacebar to start recording. I've got a click going. I'm going to count one bar and away we go. Let's listen to that back. Alright, so that's got the levels we mixed at with the sampler, it's got the panning we programmed in as well, and that sounds pretty good. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you more for some more videos on Luna.